this in here. Um, okay, so I've just gone through the ball and tail animation, uh, and now I'm going to show you guys how to render out of Adobe Media Encoder. All right, so the first thing we can do is just make sure that we open it. All right, so this is what the thumbnail looks like, so we can open that in the meantime. Um, and then when we're inside of After Effects, we've got a couple of options for the rendering, as we've discussed already in class. So under the File Export option, we have the Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Now, this is the way that we're going to be doing it for the rest of the year, so please do uh, make sure to follow along. When Adobe Media Encoder opens up, this is what it looks like. All right, we can sort of just minimize that for now. And then in After Effects, we'll go File, Export, Add to Media Encoder. All right, so then jumping back into Media Encoder, it might take a little while for it to think, but at some point it will pop in over here and we'll actually be able to continue with the tutorial. So we'll just wait for this. Alrighty, um, so now it has finally opened inside of uh, Media Encoder, and you'll see that um, here our file is, right? It's called after the, uh, the comp name over here, so this was called Ball and Tail, so inside of uh, Media Encoder, that's what it would be called here. You'll notice that H.264 should be your first option, right? so it'll drop down here. I told you guys H.264 is what we will be using throughout the year. And we want to set the match source bitrate to high bitrate. Alrighty. Um, and then that will be what we're rendering. You'll see that we've got a, a lot of options here. So sort of things set up specifically for Vimeo, specifically for YouTube. Uh, but match source high bitrate is what we'll be using for now. And then the output, we simply just click here and we tell it where we're going to render it to. Okay. So I'm just going to render it to a folder that I've already made. I'll quickly make a renders folder. Um, and I'll just save it into that. Okay, and then literally all I need to do simply just click on this little green play button. It'll do its thing, render it out. Um, if I wanted to do multiple renders, I could just select my layer and hit Control or Command D to duplicate it. Uh, and then that would sort of just be rendered straight down the line. And there we go. Okay, so if I minimize these quickly and jump into my, wow, so many things open, uh, jump into my folder over here where I saved it, all right, so I've got my ball and tail, I can open that up and it will play, all right, and if I just check the file size, uh, super tiny, 524 kilobits, all right, so if we were to render it out of After Effects, it be a massive difference. Okay, um, so Adobe Media Encoder is also great. Uh, and I'll show you why, because um, I can simply select these, delete them. Uh, you can just say yes, right? That's not going to affect the original files. Another reason why Adobe Media Encoder is super great is because if I am inside of, um, well, if I find any other video, right? Um, let me just try and find my video footage quickly. All right, so I've got the, uh, the tutorial that I literally just recorded for the ball and tail. Right, so if I take a look at the information on this one, this is 1.7 gigs, right? and I really want to try and reduce that size. So what I can do is I can take this file, simply drag and drop it inside of my queue here, all right? and I'll just set it to H.264 match high bitrate and hit play, and it'll take a little while to render that out, but when it does, that file is going to be half the size, and it'll be a lot easier then for me to upload and for you to download. All right, so Adobe Media Encoder, super easy to use. Uh, if you get stuck, just like follow along this again, or if this didn't make any sense, well, unfortunately for you, you'll just have to then jump onto YouTube or come and have a contact session with me. But hopefully that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys around. Cheers.